have been the big girl, the small girl, and everywhere in between. These are the things that I have noticed about how people treat me differently when I was at my heaviest versus now when I'm at my smallest in my adult life. It's kind of tea. I am very observant and I'm also going to talk about some general things I've noticed that have surprised me since I've lost the weight. And for anybody that's new here, I have been up and down in my weight non-stop in my life ever since I was a literal child. I have never really known a consistent healthy body weight. I've always been overweight. Basically, I've yo-yoed my whole entire life. People in general are a lot nicer to me. And I know that that's like really cliche and a lot of people say that. Something that I notice is that on my way up in weight and on my way down in weight, but more so on my way up in weight, I would get so much hate. I don't understand why I got so much hate and so many people pointing it out. She's gaining weight. Oh, she's getting bigger. This, that. So many people had so much to say and now it's literal crickets. That's not to say I'm not going to get hate. I don't get hate, but I don't get the logic behind that. I really don't, but I got so much hate gaining weight and a little bit of hate losing weight. In general, I feel like people are nicer to me online and people are nicer to me in real life. I don't feel like that's overly though like a problem. I just can notice little changes in the way people look at me or talk to me. Starting to get complimented more in real life and that kind of goes along with the first one, I guess. But also I feel like for so long, for so many years, I didn't always 100% look like my pictures. I do feel like I face tuned quite a lot and touched my body with facetune a lot i'm not crazy but definitely maybe to a point that i wasn't realizing and i was getting addicted to it as i was gaining weight but basically now in real life i feel like since i don't touch my pictures at all except for smoothing my skin usually but i have not touched my body in a year i haven't touched my body since i've started this weight loss journey so every picture i posted has been exactly me and i take every single photo and live photo because i have trauma from people accusing me of photoshopping my pics actually that reminds me of hate that I got like a few months ago, I think. They were like, just stop face tuning your pics, show us like what you really look like. Like we know you don't look like that. I am 116 pounds, almost 115, which is crazy because I was 160 plus for so long. So it's like 40, four pounds or something. I haven't gotten accused of that recently because I feel like I am posting videos and stuff and that's literal proof. Basically what I'm saying is people in real life now I feel like I get a lot more compliments and I got told by these two younger girls they were like high school age maybe a little bit older. I was at dinner and they like looked over at me and they were like we think you look like Alexa Demi. And I was like what? They were like her features like you really have her features. And I was like Going into PetSmart recently, I don't remember the last time somebody went out of their way to call me pretty in real life, and it's so sad. And I was in PetSmart, like, the other day. The lady at the cash register was, like, ringing up my stuff, and then she was like, by the way, you're really pretty. And she was, like, my age, she was super pretty herself. It just made my day so much, and, like, I think everybody should give people compliments when they think something, say it, because it makes people's day, and, like, I haven't forgot that, and now I'm talking about it in a YouTube video. So, yeah, I definitely notice a difference, how people People perceive me in real life <laughs> this sounds like I'm fucking like bragging these are observations we went to Arizona for the bachelorette trip for Emily's bachelorette which Emily's like been my bestie since I was six we went on this bachelorette trip with a bunch of girls it was so much fun I had the best time in Arizona with everybody and I haven't been bar hopping especially like without Seb like I haven't been to a bar like anything like that since like 2017 and I haven't been to a bar in like my new thinner body I guess I've never been more shocked in my life we were all wearing our colors so we all had like different colored outfits on with wigs so i was like peach so i had a peach outfit with a peach wig and the other girls had blue green yellow and we walk into the bar i have never in my entire life of existence of adulthood and like going to bars and going to clubs going to raves anything like that never been approached more in my life than that night in Arizona. It was something I've never experienced before. It really sucks that when you're not an ideal weight for people, like you just like don't get approached as much. And I just, maybe it wasn't about my weight. Maybe I just looked extra hot that night. But all I know is men did not act like that to me. And I am taken, okay? So everyone was pushed away. I was texting Seth the whole time, like telling him what was going on. Like I was not doing anything with these guys. I'm just saying, getting approached, because obviously those guys don't know that I'm taken. I was sitting on the ground waiting for an uber at like 2 a.m drunk as fuck with my friends a hot mess 
every time a guy would come up and try to talk to me and try to hit on me or whatever I even had a guy be like let's make a TikTok together they would leave and then another guy would come up and talk to me like I had a girl come up to me at the end <laughs> I don't know if that's Arizona confirm or deny for me so I literally got home I was just kind of like sulking at like 2 a.m. and I was just like that never happened when I was heavier like I've never experienced that like I don't really know what it's like to be like hit on super hard like that I was like very upset so that's coming from a place of like younger me single me back in the day like just didn't get to have these like regular experiences because I wasn't their ideal body type probably and it made me really sad like I don't know why is my worth based off of what I look like and my body especially I feel like your body should really not be the most interesting thing about you at all like even though I have done the weight loss I'm just trying to be healthy and feel my best and obviously looked my best. I didn't think I looked worse then. Like, I totally thought, like, I should have been hit on back then. Like, I was, like, all about myself. Like, I've never been feeling like I didn't deserve to get hit on or something. Like, I'm just, like, why was that more people trying to approach me in one night than have ever approached me in my entire life? Like, I'm confused. The only common denominator I could think of was my weight, but maybe that's not the case. I don't know. I don't know. Something noticeable is a change in photo comments a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget. It was a picture from Nocturnal 2017. There were so many people, even a guy I had talked to before. It was like kind of a friend, like from my city, from my hometown. They were like, damn, she got big. Like, damn, she's really chunky. I thought I was fine. Like, I, I mean, I was like vibing, you know? Like, I was with Seb at the time. Like, Seb always loved my body for the way that it was. Like, I was like, why do people always feel the need to comment on my weight? The amount of comments I got on my weight when I like I said when I was on my way up when I was gaining weight but when I was in my higher range like 170 plus which was like around nocturnal 17 in which I'm talking about I did get a lot of comments and I just don't know why people feel the need to comment on your body and your weight like my weight loss comments when they comment on my success and how good I look and like whatever to them like I appreciate that so much because it is hard work and like it's nice to get congratulated or to get complimented on your hard work because it's not easy to get healthy if you notice anybody's gaining weight like do not fucking comment on that shit because it hurt and it stuck with me and those photos are archived but like I could still go back and see the comments it makes me sad for that version of me that didn't really feel like there was much wrong with myself and just kind of wanted to exist and just got non-stop comments about oh I didn't know you were this chunky I didn't know that you were thick you know and it was just kind of like why does that matter and it would always like make me sad and kind of stick with me and yeah I just feel like obviously that is not happening at all now it's been a little bit easier to keep and get OnlyFans subscribers I've noticed I'm just not really fully focused on OnlyFans as much as I was but I still post every other day I'm actually going to film after after this for OnlyFans so subscribe it was really hard before to like keep my subscribers up I feel like it was a constant super up and super down on OnlyFans and now I feel like it stays very leveled for somebody that really doesn't promote it like ever I definitely have gotten some messages in the DMs of like congrats and like I haven't been here since you lost the weight it's great to see you like blah blah, blah. like just like a lot of niceness on there I feel like but like I'm thankful you know it's not it's not a negative thing I get much more compliments on my tattoos I don't know the science behind that because I really don't feel like also if anybody has this question because I get this so many times No, when I lost weight my tattoos really didn't change. I didn't really notice a big change in anything weird observation I guess family. Let's talk about family. I feel like a lot of you guys Maybe can relate to this whether it's from gaining weight losing weight families just loving to make comments on your body Etc. Etc. I feel like this is a topic a lot of people will understand They will say little things about like keeping it going and like, you know I don't know kind of expect me to not eat a bunch and like I love my family so much Never any shade towards them and the older generation is just the older generation and I've come to terms with they were raised a certain way They have these thought patterns that like I just don't think we're ever gonna change for them like I don't think they're ever gonna change like I just at this point the way that they are is the way that they are that's how I see it when it comes to like body weight and stuff I just feel like the older generations can be very like harsh about it in a way I don't know with family I do notice I used to have mad anxiety going to like family dinners which we do like four times a year I would have so much anxiety when I gained weight because I just felt like I was gonna get comments made and I just kind of always felt like everyone was silently judging because like I would probably always be a different weight every time I came over yeah I, I don't have anxiety now every time I go I am 
completely praised for the most part. I don't know, asked how I did it. I'm like sometimes the center of attention for a minute. Like it's, it's a lot to have so much of your worth be focused on your body. And like I said, it's, they're not trying to be negative. They are genuinely so proud and like they have their own weight problems and things like that, some of them. And, and like Seb has told me before during this weight loss process that like there's certain things that make me uncomfortable and he's just sad. And just from comments and like, a lot of people go through this, so I'm not like putting down my family whatsoever. Like they have been nonstop so sweet about my weight loss and everything, and I'm so happy they noticed and stuff. And like that's awesome, you know. Like you want to be commended for your hard work. Like I said, I've definitely had lots of trauma with comments and stuff since I was a kid, and so it just kind of still triggers me now. I guess what I'm trying to say is like I just feel more valuable when I'm smaller, and that shouldn't be the case. So these are the basic things that I've noticed since I've lost weight, like just super random observations. So I don't know why I didn't realize this, but I need an entire new wardrobe and that sounds so stupid it did not click going into this that like I'm gonna have to spend all this money for a new wardrobe like it just did not click like that makes no sense because I literally went from a size 10 plus to a size 2 I don't know why I thought I would still fit into all my clothes like I didn't think it would be that drastic of a difference and it's that drastic of a difference I've really mainly just stocked up on like a few basics in my size now, a few bottoms, and that's pretty much it. Like a nice shirt like this, I just had to have this shirt. Yeah, I don't know why that like took me by surprise. Like, bitch, once you do this, you're gonna have to spend some money, you know? So this is amazing, this is a positive. No chafing or feet pain. And I talk about that mainly from festivals. When I went to EDC 2021, day one was so crazy. A lot of things happened, I didn't even go to day two or day three, I think I've talked about that. I've never told the story, I don't think I ever will. But shit was, one of the most, if not the most wild week of my life. And on top of that, on top of all the craziness, a bitch walked around so much or something that my feet were literally blistered and cut up to the fucking gods. My thighs have never been in so much pain from chafe. And I physically, even if I wanted to on day three, because day two was for sure not happening, but day three was like, mm, maybe we could try. I still got ready for like no fucking reason on day three. Never went, just went back in and slept. Like my body was very, very exhausted, but it was mainly in pain. Like I was in so much pain. I was like, I can't even go if I wanted to. I considered wearing my slides in, but my feet were still that blistered that nothing was gonna work. Like I just had to stay off of them. Fast forward to like this year, EDC 20. 22, I didn't get any feet pain or chafing the entire time and I went all three days obviously walked around just as much no pain any of the raves I've been to festivals this year like you're doing a lot of walking so it's a good test of like feet pain blisters and chafing and nothing so to be in less pain is everything so my anxiety about outfit wearing went away another thing about raves and festivals but you can also apply it to real life i would buy an outfit for like a rave and a festival i would refuse to put it on until the first day of the festival right before so in my head i thought it was smarter because i didn't want to ruin the outfit i thought there's such a chance that this might not look good or might not fit it's not gonna fit my body well i don't even want to know until day one before the festival that makes zero sense right i mean i guess i have some old comfy shit that could have worked if i had to but i was that scared to try things on and be disappointed in myself or disappointed how it looked that I wouldn't even try it on before the festival. I would try it on right before I was supposed to be leaving for the festival. I also feel like I just wanted to know what it looked like with hair and makeup. I thought like if it didn't look that good on me that like at least hair and makeup will make it look better. But anyways, but I feel like it's cool now that like my anxiety has gone about that. My boobs be looking better in tops. I'm not as funny and I feel like lots of people in my life I have bonded with off of like funniness and humor and I've been told I'm so funny. Am I losing my personality? Like I'm so confused. I'm just not as like silly. I am not scared of mirrors, photos, or videos anymore which says a lot because my entire life I was scared of all of those things and I would look in a mirror like I'd walk up to like the store you know and you can like see yourself on the like sliding doors or whatever i would be like oh that's not real like that's just like how the glass is shaped like i don't look like that like full denial like full denial bitch especially videos i feel like i never wanted to have somebody like film me like i just wanted my face and hair up for so long on youtube and like just on everything i wanted control to face tune my photos like now it's just like i feel like i can be my real raw self and i don't even think it was like my opinion i think it was like how everybody else treats people that are not a perfectly skinny healthy weight it's like you get like conditioned to be like oh I, i'm not deserving to like be on camera and like take a photo and post it without facetune so it's like i always wanted to be like a curated person and i feel like you could just like film me at any angle another thing about denial is i felt like i was skinnier 
I obviously not but like I knew I was a thick queen I saw nothing wrong with it and I genuinely thought I was skinnier than I was like I said when I was in denial about like seeing myself in like a mirror thing I was like oh that's not me I had this vision of myself and who I was and what I looked like in my head that was just not true and not like how I actually was and that's when I would like facetune to make it look more like that vision and it wasn't crazy by any means I really didn't even facetune that bad last year and I got back up to a higher weight last year tell me why like I felt smaller at 160 pounds sometimes like sometimes I look at myself now and I just don't see it like I physically cannot comprehend that I am a size 2 in clothing right now on the top and the bottom I physically cannot comprehend that because I was never a size 2 I was a size 8 to 10 consistently if not had to be bigger you lose the weight and you still can't comprehend your size and you still want to buy mediums and you still want to buy larges and you still want to buy size 6 body dysmorphia is fucking real when you're smaller you don't quite see how small you are like I look at myself I do not look skinny in the slightest to myself I just look like pretty normal like kind of thickish like but like I know like if I look back on these pictures if I gain weight I'd be like holy shit I look back at pictures of myself like my before photos that's not what I saw back then but the way I see it now is crazy it's a completely different person than what I saw back then. I saw myself much skinnier back then than I actually was. Body dysmorphia, bruh. And when you've been up and down your whole life, it is really not a fucking joke. <laughs> like, you just don't know what you look like. Like, you do not perceive yourself. You see a million different photos and you, like, look different to yourself in all of them. You're just like, what is going on here? But I feel like I have so much more energy in daily life. I have so much more energy. I have so much more life. I have so much more like bounce to me. I think this is a really cool perk. I got really excited to help people again and post and work. Like I just feel like I kind of refound my passion for life and for working and for helping people. I love helping people with weight loss stuff. I love posting on TikTok. I love inspiring people, encouraging people. I love just being more positive person all around. I feel like my mental health has changed a lot. Even just recently, I feel like I'm constantly a different person in every month like there's things I did a few months ago that I'm like oh my god I wouldn't do that now you got to give yourself grace though like you're not always gonna be like perfect positive person you know but like I do feel like every month it just gets better and better and I get like more realizations and more healthy mindset more healthy body and I just like feel so much better as a person and I've started this new raven festival clothing thing that I'm trying to do and jewelry still doing OnlyFans I'm posting on YouTube more I feel like I'm posting on Instagram pretty consistently but not a lot I just feel like all around it's made me want to post more help people inspire people a lot more than I was in the past to be like I was just kind of like existing making money like posting stupid shit I feel like now it's like I have a purpose for the things that I do and I feel like I have a purpose in life is it all butterflies and rainbows losing weight absolutely not it is extremely hard work but am I so proud of myself absolutely and was it worth it absolutely so worth it to prove to myself that I could do something and work hard and just be successful at something that I tried so hard my whole life to defeat you know and like conquer and I feel like I finally did and I encourage everyone to be the healthiest happiest version of themselves whatever that means for them you just kind of gotta be your healthiest self whatever that means for you however your body feels the best not to be skinny not to be perfectly fit not to have a flat perfect tummy just to be the healthiest happiest version of themselves because that really helps your mental health and it helps your life and it just improves everything tenfold do it for yourself nobody else. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this random ass video of my observations and follow me on social media. The links will be down below in the description in the comments. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video. Bye guys.